Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back. Uh, the world of investing. I got this this little envelope opener here, I'm trying to kill some stuff. But um, in the world of investing, uh, this is the very uh, it's a very nuanced thing. I mean, of course, as you come across different social media platforms, you don't hear people say a lot of different things about investing, especially in the stock market. Uh, today, we're going to try to do this exercise, but this is the epitome of the exercise I do with every stock that I buy. Um, the thing is, everybody always talk about diversification, diversification, diversification. That's a lie. And the reason why it's a lie, diversification is, in itself is not a lie, but diversification is not how people get rich. Diversification is how people stay rich, how people keep their money. You know, once you plateau and get your money to a certain level then you want to diversify it so the opportunity to lose it becomes harder and harder but to get there it's usually a singular focus on one avenue no matter if it's a a job a business a stock or something like that it's usually every stock pick that people do all of them are not going to the moon it's usually one stock that gets to the moon and then you diversify to get out of there so today in this exercise alex i'm going to ask you um if it's only one stock that you could pick for your portfolio that you got to hold forever and we're not using Berkshire Hathaway, even though that would have been my pick, um, what stock would it be? And you can't use ETF either. What stock would it be that you will put in your portfolio today that you're willing to hold forever, no matter the ups and downs? I would say Apple. And I would go with Apple for one, a obvious reason because of the size of the company um, and they have little competition um obviously there's microsoft as a competitor uh, but i think apple is a huge company and especially in the space that they have created where almost as if like office work has become dependent in a sense on companies like apple microsoft because they've created the clouds they've created devices that people feel like they can't be without uh, even personal individuals, not just companies, but you know, the iPhone. And once you get the iPhone in a MacBook and then everything is, you know, intertwined and all that, then it's like, it's hard to change over because all your information is so connected. Also the AI investments that they're doing, I think AI will be a big part of the future. And I think Apple is a big, uh, leader along with the other companies as well, but I think they're one of the big leaders in that space. Um, so I think there's still more growth for Apple. I think Apple will be even bigger than it is now, 10 years from now. So I would go with Apple. All right. All right. I'm going to give you some pushback because I got some questions for, I mean, these questions I figure, and I hope people in the, that's viewing this would ask. All right. We are a consumer, a consumer economy. Uh, you know, the U.S., you know, but the world, we consume more than we produce, right? So my question is, being a consumer, and you know how fickle consumers is, you know, Apple haven't had the down for the past, let's say, 20 years. If you start with the iPod to the iPad to the iPhone, you know, iTunes, uh, MacBooks, and all that other stuff that they produce. What, what if consumer habits change? Not saying that not change in the matter of they don't want to buy cell phones no more, but what if some player comes out of nowhere and they move into that space? Because, I mean, before, if you're just looking at the evolution of cell phones, you know, BlackBerry was the go-to. Then you had the Palm that was the go-to. Then you had, you know, Galaxy was the go-to. Now Apple is the big mainstream thing. Usually the, the shift chain changes in bunches. What if what is what do Apple have that will stop another competitor to come and eventually create a more superior product and capture the minds, hearts and minds of the fickle consumer and they switch? I mean, just like the same thing from you know, Michael Kors and Coach. Now people want Balenciaga and all that, and they consider Michael Kors and Coach as a cheap luxury brand. So what is what do Apple have to stop them from doing that? I think with Apple, just like we've seen other examples of, say, with like uh, TikTok, when they came about, they were a major competitor for 
companies like Facebook and YouTube, Google, um, those other large companies quickly adapted to the new trend and created the YouTube Shorts. They created um, the uh, Instagram Reels, Facebook Reels. So I think if something like that came about, Apple would be very quick to develop a product that would mimic that product or that new trend in order to get in the game. And I don't think it would take much for them to dominate just because of the capacity or the size of Apple and their um, their influence, I would say. So so you're saying so you're saying that the the leadership in Apple they're not like the blackberries of the world who just thought people would still use our products no matter what and we didn't have to update or we didn't have to go with the trend we just feel we have a superior product so we're not going to update and that's and that's exactly how blackberry got ran over by the smartphone industry uh because the smartphone industry came about the apples the palms the galaxies of the world came along and Blackberry was very hesitant and very late to the game. You know, they still wanted to use the quartz keyboard with the heart figure keys, figuring people wouldn't pivot from them or they figuring that the touch, the touch the keyboard wouldn't be as efficient as their, uh, you know, hard coded buttons to the keyboard. So you're saying that you believe, you believe in Apple's management that they would be quick to pivot and they wouldn't be sitting there saying we're Apple, we don't have to change for everybody else. Yeah, no, I don't. Your thought process is back. I don't think they would be ignorant and just stick to what they're doing. I think they would quickly either. Um, I wouldn't necessarily necessarily say like they would adapt. I think they would try to figure out a way to just take over that industry. Like we see with many other companies like <clears throat> Amazon does this, you know, Facebook does this like these big companies are every time that there's a new invention or a new trend, they're quick to just like, either buy out that space or copy it and then they dominate it from there on i think apple would be quick to do something in that sense right and and that's that's a good that's a good uh view in it and i'm glad you brought up my stock that i was gonna say i'm gonna say amazon um amazon stock that i would hold forever if i only had one option and it's from a lot of things that you said for apple but again, we're a consumer economy. Amazon makes sure you consume. I mean, this channel or a lot of these channels, the Dave Ramsey channel and all that ain't gonna stop people from consuming no matter how much they tell them to stop spending money. Um, so if I know that there's nothing that's gonna stop people from buying, I wanna be where people are buying. So my, my stock would be Amazon and I mean, holding it forever, forever. I don't care who the CEO is, I don't care what happened? Jeff Bezos could pass. I mean, I don't, I ain't, you know, I'm not in the, in the elk of saying he could pass tomorrow, but he could. And the process would still go forward and go on. I mean, and they're adapting. They're adapting every time. I mean, the Amazon Prime service, I believe it's like 140, 170 a year. And they keep providing uh, platforms to it. They just did a 10 year deal with the NBA to show NBA games and playoff games. They just did a deal with the NFL a year ago to or well, two years ago to do Thursday night games and playoff games. So they're just bringing, they're just finding ways to bring moats into and build a bigger moat, just like Apple is to keep people in the game. And everybody looking at it as, oh, Amazon bought basketball rights, but it's not the fact they bought basketball rights. It's the fact that they will add millions of consumers to the Amazon Prime service which will give them a plat uh, give the consumer opportunities to do more things like free shipping or whatever, yada, yada, yada. It's just a way to trap them into the system because people are going to want to consume basketball. They're going to want to consume football. And then, you know, you still got the avenues of Amazon music. You got Amazon movies, TV shows, yada, 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 free verse and all that. And then you still have the platform of Amazon itself that people consume on every day. I mean, now I get a okay, I get at least one Amazon package to the house at least once a week. So if I'm going to be in something, I'm going to do what the masses do. I know the masses are not going to save money. I know the masses is going to keep consuming to the day that they die. So I'm going to be riding that pony to the end of time. I'm be 
Let's go. Let's keep on going, baby. I'm right. I'm riding it all the way to the end because that's. I think that's the best. The best way to play it. And even today on April 27, 2024, I would buy Apple hand over foot, and I would just keep riding the wave. If I just had to buy one stop. But going to the beginning of this conversation. Oh wait, do you got any pushback against the stock that I said? First? No, no, no. Uh, I agree with you because that was, okay. that was my number two, yeah. but I didn't know which one to pick. Okay, yeah. And then so going back to the beginning of what I say, this is an exercise that I do whenever, whenever I look at stocks. I look to say if I'm going to buy a stock, it's something that I'm going to hold for a long time. It's nothing. There's no quick flip. There's no swing trade with it. It's just buy it and hold it. And then I know you're gonna have. Some people in the comment section saying, well, you buy the stock, but they don't pay a dividend. Well, you can make a dividend by selling call options on top of it. That's easy peasy. And you can get bigger dividends and some of these dividend paying companies that's out there. So there is an avenue to produce income off of everything, every stock that I buy, even ETFs. But that's what I do. And the thing is, I don't go out to buy a big plethora of stocks. I'm not a person that believes in 40, 50 stocks. I believe in one, two maybe three stocks that you just keep building and building 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 but these are quality great stocks that you can hold forever and then to build the income off of it just sell call options on the top of it and then sell put options if i get called away uh but that's literally how portfolios are built that's why warren buffett the only stock he ever owned was berkshire hathaway the berkshire hathaway owned other stocks yeah but warren buffett only owns one stock in his personal portfolio that one stock made him the man that he is today not multiple stocks that one stock made him the man that he is today on a financial realm and then if you want something simpler similar to the berkshire hathaway stock i would just go and warren buffett uh pushes it the same way if you don't have the time the nuance to study different individual companies then you just invest in s p 500 and then you just keep investing in it that one ETF, you don't have to go sexy and do anything else. That one ETF will is a holding company for 500 different companies, and you just keep putting your money in there. You put your money in there, good times, bad times, or whatever, but that's the only stock symbol that you need to hold, and you will be fine in the long term. But on an individual basis, I'm Amazon all the way. All right. With all that being said, guys, if you liked the video, Hit the like button. Let us know in the comment section which stock you would pick. Don't forget to share and subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one.